So if you can tell by my voice, I haven't hit puberty yet. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm kind of just sitting here on this bridge. I've been trying to jump off of it for a while now, and Hello, I don't think yeah. I can. Oh, wait, who said that? So yeah, anyways, I'm trying to kill my- Let's go ahead and get into the model. I know I showed it off earlier, so we'll go ahead and show off, uh, you know, Natasha's model. As you can see, she has, uh, one of those red ribbons on her. I don't know if that means she's a communist or not, but she obviously has, like, a teddy bear, which is pretty cool. Um, she has, like, hair. She has, like, this thing, these, like, green- uh, like snot, like bubbles. I don't know what they are. Oh, look, she just pulled out another one. Oh, damn, she just laughed. That was funny. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what's in there. Maybe some, like, slime or something, but I don't think Luocha has slime. Uh, also, she's a girl, so, you know, I know all you guys are, like, you know, weirdos and shit. Which Locho really isn't a girl. He does have long hair, but it doesn't really matter. I feel like there isn't really any, that much detail in Locho. He does have like a coffin behind him, uh, but like that's kind of lame because Natasha has like a teddy bear behind her, so I don't know which one's better, but I wouldn't want to have a coffin if you ask me. So yeah, as you can see, Natasha is just a better unit. Oh. So yeah, this isn't something you could do with Luocha. Yeah, as you guys can see, these guys are very scared, and uh, that is also a debuff in this game, if you didn't know that. Uh, it's actually like a really big debuff that you can get. What the hell is happening? Uh, okay, I guess I'm down here now. Oh, and obviously this is really good because you can't really get down uh, to that level, so uh, if you just want to like speed run the game, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can... There we go. Whoa, Natasha's putting up some big numbers. I hope that kind of showed you guys how Natasha performs when she does uh, big damage like that. Obviously, Natasha is performing out of her mind right now. I want to go ahead and show the power of Natasha, so we're going to go ahead and enter the Echo of War here. It does say that my team is currently too underpowered, uh, but little does it know that I have Natasha on the team, so... So I'm not too worried about this boss fight, uh, we're just going to go ahead and auto it, and we'll see Natasha putting up some big damage here. We do have physical weakness now. So, Natasha is obviously going to start doing damage here. Here goes Natasha. Sentry. So, if you guys don't know what that is, that's basically Natasha's like ultimate. When she does that, a big mech will come down and, you know, punch the ground. So, that's also uh, something hidden in her kit that I don't think a lot of people know. So, uh, let's continue this battle. So as you can see, Natasha just destroyed the boss. She's at 14% HP. This is so cool. Go get her, Natasha. So yeah, as you can see, Natasha kind of just went crazy there. You saw what the game said. Thought my team was too underpowered, but little did it know I had a DPS Natasha in the background waiting. Yeah, anyways, I hope this video showed you guys how good Natasha actually is. Um, a lot of people, surprisingly, don't run her on DPS, so I'm not too sure why. So yeah, anyways, I'll go ahead and thank you guys for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.